Hi dear Gemini, thank you so much for joining me for your October 2017 How does he or she feel about your video? Um, anything you need is in the description box below Also if you want to calculate your moon or your rising sign Go all the way to the bottom of the description box um, I will be shuffling the cards on camera Therefore please do click um, on the timestamp directly below this video In order to dive straight into it And then I will take you through this, this spread as we go along So, dear Gemini, thank you for being patient with me. Um, this month, I'm using Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue as per usual and also the Cosmic Tarot deck as we want to change things a bit so you don't get bored of the same old cards all the time. Um, also, the spread for this month has changed. I would like to vary things from month to month. Um, so, once again, you don't get bored. So, in the first position, we have um, how did they feel about you in the past? Second position is how do they feel about you at this present moment? And the third position, of course, is how may they feel about you in the future? Me saying may, don't forget, because we all have, have our own free will. So therefore, the outcome can always change according to our own actions. Nothing is really carved into stone. Um, at the bottom of your deck, uh, we have the star, meaning that some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius, or as I always say, you may have uh, any of these signs mentioned in your own primary natal chart. Uh, but also this person does see hope in the future for both of you. They may be undergoing some type of healing. They may have been in a rather toxic relationship. I'll get through, um, I'll get through this because um, several cards do indicate that. Uh, so as we go along, I'll explain as to why I'm saying this. The star is also, they may see you as uh, someone who's very independent. If you are a woman, it could be a man watching you from afar. You may already be a mother. You may already have a child, a single mother. And uh, th this man may be watching you from afar, but technically you have your back turned onto everything because you're only focusing on your own life, raising your own children, your career. Um, and this person really admires that. If you're a man watching this, then of course this person still uh, sees you as someone who's a little shining star in the uh, sky. We have the Prince of Swords. Maybe sometimes they think another Aquarius card here. Uh, also it could be you may be dealing with Libra, Gemini um, also. Well, another, uh, another Gemini. But if that's what they think about you, it's maybe sometimes the communication between the both of you may be a bit brash. Uh, the way you communicate may be very emotionally disattached and that may make them emotionally disappointed. You're too logical, you never trust your heart. We have Sagittarius here, but also uh, Temperance does speak of our healing. So either you're healing or this person is healing because of whatever may have happened in the past. Temperance is also about divine timing and uh, being emotionally balanced, having patience most importantly, because that's the literal meaning of the word temperance. 
so this person may be uh, withholding themselves from coming through to you because they are surrendering to divine timing but emotionally you really do fulfill this person you make them feel good and they are actually wanting you but it's, it's, it's nine of cups is possibly someone who rather not show you that um, there is some type of emotional disappointment there or if they have been in a relationship right now uh, emotionally they're not fully fulfilled and they may be contemplating on going and walking where the grass may appear to be greener this has been a very slow process for both of you I feel um, at one point maybe this person felt like you may have left them out in the cold or maybe there was some type of health ailment or financial issues getting in the way maybe dealing with an Aries but also maybe this person thinks sometimes you may be too overpowering uh, too controlling and manipulative one of you may be uh, much older than the other person very well established within your career uh, two of ones is about making a decision between two people so the emperor the, the person you're inquiring about they may be um, committed to somebody else and the moon Pisces but also secret something not being fully revealed or they're making a decision but not discussing it with anybody else if it's for instance um involvement of, of, of two people so how did they feel about you in the past well we do have reconciliation someone from your past is returning into your life so clearly you guys must have reconciled maybe something happened between the both of you in the uh in in the past and you kind of lost contact that you got back in touch again or life has brought you back together we have the empress could be dealing with a uh, libra taurus you may have these signs as i say in your own natal chart we have a uh, cancer and we have ace of cups you may have met during some type of holiday or trip or you may have went on holiday most importantly the empress and the ace of cups being here that can speak of being very fertile and pregnancy uh, birth of a baby girl or being pregnant with a girl uh, successful movement forward so i feel like for some of you of course it must be your own partner your spouse you may have met this person in the past you reconciled uh you went away maybe even honeymoon you, you conceived a, a, a daughter it could be a boy but normally aesop cups and the empress will be um a, a, a female child um so in the past everything seemed very nice and jolly you had this emotionally if it's not um if it's not our conception or any holidays just simply this person thought that you're uh, very beautiful and they really wanted to take care and nurture you successfully move forward and to start this emotional um, new beginning uh, after this reconciliation I apologize has taken place and also they try to keep an open mind because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So maybe this person never assumed you may you may uh, become their soulmate. But we do have the two of cups. So another indication that this person has deep feelings for you or does feel that soulmate connection. Uh, nevertheless, we have two fives here. Two fives in the same uh, spread means vigilance. Uh, vigilante uh, someone watching or people getting involved you know like people being vigilant or people being jealous overly jealous about the situation um, competition coming from other people maybe your co-workers maybe you worked in the same job or even family members maybe if this person you have been committed the family is getting involved in the situation and one of you has had to walk away or felt defeated or this person feels defeated and there is stag there was stagnation or slow process so i feel like everything was going well and then all of a sudden uh, due to other people getting involved or something being overly greedy um you know you may have felt defeated or this other person may have felt defeated and the slow progress or stagnation has kicked in um, of course the hangman is the card of enlightenment and this is a good energy because it, it allows us to see to change our perspective and react in a different manner in order to change the course of events also can speak of passion as well what do they feel about you in the uh, present moment? We have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. And since we have uh, temperance in the underlying energy, I feel like this person is having faith in the situation. But I feel like something may have happened between the both of you, uh, which may inhibit the progress of this relationship developing further. Uh, there was a lot of burdensome energy around this. Uh, Maybe one of you were not happy at the place you're living at or the person you are with. You were very burdened and mentally you felt very backstabbed. I don't know what's happened here. Of course, uh, it, it will resonate with whoever, whomever it will resonate to. If it doesn't resonate, do check your moon or your rising sign also. We, ha we have two tens. So I feel like this person or you have been feeling very mentally exhausted, not only mentally, but physically also. Once is about physicalities and sources, of course, our intellect, our thoughts, mental processing. So, But the thing is, things cannot get any worse with the ten of swords. Um... 
to me, Ten of Swords for a lot of people is not a very nice card to see. But really, as I say, the worst has passed now. The door now is coming to Tens also speak about change. And we have the Princess of Pentacles. So as I say, some of you can have an Earth sign child, a female child, a Virgo Taurus Capricorn child. Uh, maybe there was some type of conflict in regards to this child or... As you know, separation arranging um, the 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 time if you have separated arranging the time to to uh, share the responsibility. Uh -huh. For some of you, princess or pentacles could be uh, as I say with the empress. Um, one of you may be younger than the other, uh, not the empress, the empress I mentioned before. One of you younger, princess of pentacles really is an uh, energy of a student, but also someone who's very perseverant and persistent. So I know this person thinks of you quite highly, uh, regardless of what may have happened between the two of you. And we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. We do have the devil. So some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn. But for some of you, as I have said, one of you has been involved in a very toxic and healthy relationship. One of you may be already committed because the devil has these people chained to him. So it's some type of contractual uh, entrapment to uh, the other person. I don't know whether it's you committed or this other party is committed. And by retreat, I feel like it's not you both disconnecting from the world, but this person um may have been disconnected from you because of what they're currently undergoing it could speak of codependency as well they have retreated because of their codependency doesn't even have to be talking about illicit substances or alcohol could be just talking codependency um, on excessive behavior being overly jealous possessive or stressed but uh, this person will gain mental clarity within the situation and there will be a successful new beginning and honest communication but I feel like right now I feel like maybe these energies combining together has caused this person to um, somewhat succumb to circumstances and maybe undertake some type of codependent behavior if that makes sense how may they feel about you in the future well love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so i feel like this person needs to gain self-esteem uh, they may have self-esteem issues towards you or needs to maybe they don't think they're good enough for you and we have religious factors your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path to me that also speaks of uh, being married and the devil as i say people are chained already this normally speaks about people are already committed and we do have the prince of wands and the queen of wands so some of you may be dealing with a Leo, Aries or a Sagittarius as it can be observed here. Um, but also I feel like this person sees you possibly in the future. They will come after you. They, I don't know if you both are at a distance at the moment not seeing eye to eye. The Prince of Wands is someone is, is, is setting up plans to travel, passion uh, and Queen of Wands. They will see you as someone. Uh, you may have fire in your natal chart as I've said but also... They may see you as someone who's very, very good looking and they are very attracted to you and they'll be coming after you to pursue you once they undergo this, um, w once they reach this uh, equilibrium and start thinking clearly, have uh, concise mental clarity in order to come after you once they go through all these uh, negative energies. Uh, we also have let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally because this is a past life relationship. You have known each other before. This is King of Swords would definitely be a Gemini energy, could be dealing with a Libra, another Gemini or an Aquarius as mentioned before, uh, so a predisposition of air signs here as well, but Eight of Pentacles does speak about investing quite a lot of time in this relationship and you know the cards are saying that this person will need to let go of control issues maybe they'll be trying too hard and you may somewhat be retracting back because you've been a Gemini air sign, you like your independence but also you're not the overly romantic type or you know you may some of you may be even getting sick to the point if someone's trying to court you um you know so you may be showing this person a rather detached demeanor um although this person will put in a lot of time and effort into this coming to pursue you as i have said uh king of swords is um Maybe you're acting very detached or putting up blocks so they cannot get through to you. But don't forget that this is an indicative that you may have known each other be before because this is a past life relationship. So um, I hope that was um, of use to you and I really appreciate you stopping by and I shall speak to you next month. I will be uploading November videos after the 20th of October, which will be roughly in what, like six days time. Um, so all the best now. Take care. Bye.